Hi folks, so in this video I'm just going to give you a quick demo of how Mitel Film Manager integrates to uh, Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Uh, it's very straightforward, uh, the so pro version of the software comes with a range of uh, pre-enabled uh, uh, plugins. In this case uh, we're going to show you a call history record and as an alternative you could just do a screen pop so the difference between the two uh, the screen pop will simply contact uh, sorry it will screen pop the customer's contact record uh, but the call history will create an activity record linked to that so that you can create a, a history of contacts and activities uh, to do with uh, telephone calls associated with that customer you would set uh, an event trigger here so you'd set a rule that uh, when the call is answered from an outside call that's inbound, they're the scenario, they're the circumstances under which the, uh, the screen pop's going to happen. And I can set a rule here about what type of telephone format I expect to see my uh, uh, calls uh, restored in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Um, here I can choose uh, the version number. Um, I can set uh, the information about the uh, server, uh, the URL and uh, organization name. I can use Win Windows integrated authentication or I can specify an account if I wish. And I've got a range of options here about which types of accounts to use. What I can also do is choose which bit of data I use to search for the uh, contact record. In this case, I've chosen to search using the customer's inbound caller ID um, I can then say uh, what, what I'm going to do here. I'm going to display an activity record in this case. And I can look for which account fields uh, that I'm going to search. I could just look for the main telephone number or I could be, uh, uh, use, use a simple flag to set uh, any of the uh, records. And, and in this case, um, I, I can choose additional uh, fields to select the CRM contact telephone numbers to search and in this case specifically for leads so it, it, it gives you the options for all three types of uh, 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 contact record uh, which of the uh, telephone fields you'd like to use to, to do the searching uh, and you can also search for related entities so maybe you just want to search for opportunities uh, uh, as a choice then for the activity you can choose what type of activity to, in, uh, to include uh, uh, when you're creating the, um, uh, the activity record. You can also set um, the, the uh, activity state uh, options uh, when you create the activity. And then you can set which type of uh, priority. So I'm just going to cancel out of that once that's been, uh, once that's been set. I'm going to make an inbound call you'll see the um, phone manager toaster pop up so you can, you can and you can hear the call ringing there and when I answer the call we should now get a screen pop in this case what it's done is it said okay I've found multiple contact records that, are, that match the caller ID so we just have a choice here now of which one we'd like to display and then you'll see our uh, screen pop take place there going to minimize this button here and I'll draw your attention to the uh, information that we pre-populate here in the in the, um, uh, the the contents of the field and I'm going to expect that the customer would say uh, they're going to start typing then the notes associated with that particular call so in this case I'll say agree to call back next week let's say and then you would save that uh, save that information, and just perhaps notice that if you do have uh, call recorder integration, it's possible to uh, copy that information into a, um, a into a browser and paste it, um, and that will automatically give you the call recording associated with that call. And that's it. Thanks for watching.